This is the Ripon Stakes, a two mile four listed race here at Ripon. Braun Trippy, three to one, Paul Rose, Yonker Stargazer, eleven to four, favourite Vinnie Gerard, Penny Fan, Monty Dave, eleven to fourteen, Sprigley Harvest, Craig Beck with twelve. Take back control for Grey, ten to one, Crop Duster for Paul Parsons, first three to one, Hybrid in October, Grey, eleven to two, Larissa Lady, Patrick Hogan, forties, Marie Sadie, David Ladd, twelve, Rainbow Explorer, Leon Van Rensburg, five to one, and Strawberry Miss, sixty six to one. Your number eleven in this field of eleven. And they're off. It's going to be a long way here at a soggy rip, and it's going to be soft. It's going to be a battle. And take back control leads for one of the big stayer trainers, Grey Clutterbuck. Strawberry Mist is also up there with Rainbow Explorer, Laradissa Lady, Hybrid in October on the rail with Yonkers, Stargazer, and Crop Duster is on the outside. And then there's a group of four at the back, led by Prickly, Prickly Harvest, Born Trippy, Penny Fan Monty and Marie Sadie, the two Davy Robertson horses are sat at the back of the field. As they gallop down towards the two mile point, it is Take Back Control, who has take, taken control of this race, although it's being held on to a bit now. Strawberry Mist in second, Crop Duster in third, two Paul Parsons horses going well. Yonkers Stargazer, your favourite, is in about fourth from Highbury in October on the rail. Prickly Harvest has moved through a bit with Born Trippy. On the rail is Penny Fan Monty, and then Laradissa Lady has been taken to the back of the pack with Rainbow Explorer and Marie Sadie on the outside of the grey. So they come round the back of the lake here at Ripon. Probably another circuit to go, just about, as they come past the finish line for the first time in about a furlong's time. Take back control. From Strawberry Mist, Yonkers Stargazer is now up into third with Born Trippy, who is uh, travelling nicely. Crop Duster on the outside of Prickly Harvest. Also Penny Fan Monty on the rail. Highbury in October as they come past the finish line for the first time. Take back control from Strawberry Mist, Born Trippy, Yonkers Stargazer, Penny Fan Monty, Prickly Harvest, Laradissa Lady, Highbury in October, Crop Duster. On the outside, Marie Sadie, and then Rainbow Explorer is at the back of the pack. So it is Take Back Control, who is dictating the pace, with the rest of them relatively bunched up. Born Trippy now moving into second, but has been held on to again to try and not chase after this lead too quickly. They don't want to give Take Back Control too much rope, but they don't want to let him run away with it either. Take back control from Born Trippy, Yonkers Stargazer on the rail is Strawberry Mist. Prickly Harvest has moved through into fifth. Penny Fan Monty is also there. On the rail is Hybrid in October. Rainbow Explorer is now starting to make a move. Laradissa uh, Lady, Marie Sadie at the back, and Crop Duster. I actually can't see where Crop Duster is. It's been pulled up, that's why. Crop Duster has unfortunately been pulled up in this listed contest. And take back control. There's no need for him to take back control because he's been in control the whole time. But Rainbow Explorer has uh, made a funky move here, going from last to second, and is now being held on to. But has the, the jockey's decided that this pace is too slow and wants to get a lot closer to the favourite to be able to strike late. Strawberry Mist is in third, the stable mate of the pulled up crop duster. Coming around the outside, Marie Sadie is now making a move as well from the back. And it's all changed here. As Rainbow Explorer goes into the final six furlongs in front, having been last for most of this race. Take Back Control does just that and takes back control of the matter by going into first from Rainbow Explorer. Strawberry Mist is still there on the rail in a nice position. Marie Sadie has been ridden along on the outside. Penny Fan Monty is also staying on now. Laradissa Lady, it's all changed. A lot of the others have been caught off their feet, including the favourite Yonkers Stargazer. Born Trippy is still travelling not so well at the back being pushed along with uh, Highbury in October and it is now Rainbow Explorer and Take Back Control who are going toe to toe and it's Take Back Control who is under the pump and Rainbow Explorer is travelling very nicely but they now go for it and they go toe to toe as they go into the final three furlongs. Rainbow Explorer from Take Back Control staying on well now is Highbury in October for Grey as well but it's Rainbow Explorer in front by a head from Take Back Control and Highbury in October nothing else coming out the pack. Laradissa Lady travelling on okay. Marie Stady is trying. Prickly Harvest they're all trying but they're all bobbing up and down on the spot as Rainbow Explorer takes a length and a half lead now out of take back control and goes into the final furlong in control of this race. It's Rainbow Explorer for Leon Rans Rensburg. It's pretty much sewn up here. Rainbow Explorer from take back control. 
Junkers Stargazer coming out the pack with Blonde Trivia, but this one's done and dusted. Rainbow Explorer wins comfortably. That's a big win. And Rainbow Explorer wins very well there. You've got to think that one's probably going to be heading to France for the Prix de Cadran now. But a great win nonetheless. Good win from Rainbow Explorer. Your 5-1 to one shot. Take back control, ran really well, but could only get second. High rain in October is third for Grey. Your winner, Rainbow Explorer, Leon Van Rensburg, 5 to 1. Take back control for Grey is second at 10 to 1. Hybrid October is third at 13 to 2 for Grey. Born Trippy, fourth for Paul Rhodes, 10 to 3. And your 2 to 1 favourite, Yonkers Stargazer, was fifth for Vinnie Gerard.